warm welcome to all the students of 12th class today we will discuss section b poem number 2 on friendship written by khalil zibran dear students khalil zibran is one of the most famous and the most quoted poets of english Before starting the lesson let's go through the learning objective by the end of this session you will be able to understand the complete poem the poet meaning of difficult words comprehension questions and the theme of the poem dear students in examination you will get two type of questions from the poetry section one will be central idea for three marks and another question will be a comprehension questions based on the stanza of any of the poems it will be for four marks about khalil zibran he is very famous in english literature he was Lebanese American writer He was not only a poet but a visual artist too He was a philosopher Although he rejected the title but most of the people of his circle always loved his philosophical personality He was born on 6 January 1883 in lebanon he died on 10th of april 1931 in united states his nationality was lebanese and khalil zibran was born in lebanon dear students he had a poor childhood His learning was limited to regular visits to village priest only. The priest taught him essentials of religion and the Bible alongside the Syrian and Arabic languages. The saddest part of his life was when he was 8 years old. His father was accused of tax evasion and was sent to prison. Later on his father took the family to US They arrived in Boston in 1895 but he could not have the formal education Gibran was placed in ungraded class That ungraded class was for immigrant children But Gibran was very curious as a child. His curiosity led him to the cultural side of Boston. He was also exposed to the rich world of theater, opera and artistic galleries. Let me tell you what is an opera. In an opera, we are depicting a beautiful story. with the help of music the actor is also a singer and the whole story is told in the form of songs and enactment moving on in 1904 gibran had his first art exhibition in boston he also made a society for arab writers dear students now we will study the poem on friendship this is the ninth piece in khalil zibran's best known work the prophet the prophet was one of his most famous works it is a book of 26 prose poetry essays written in english The poem on friendship has been taken from this book. 
it immediately brought the writer into the limelight and made him popular the poem consists of three stanzas the first stanza is made of four lines the second stanza is made of 11 lines the third stanza is made of seven lines so the entire poem is of 22 lines let's read the poem without any delay first of all we'll have the complete reading of the text then I'll paraphrase it for you. Text on friendship And a youth said, Speak to us of friendship. Your friend is your needs answered. He is your field, which you sow with love and reap with thanksgiving. And he is your board and your fireside for you come to him with your hunger and you seek him for peace when your friend speaks his mind you fear not the nay in your own mind nor do you withhold the a and when he's silent your heart ceases not to listen to his heart for without words, in friendship, all thoughts, all desires, all expectations are born and shared with joy that is unacclaimed. When you part from your friend, you grieve not, or that which you love most in him may be the clearer in his absence. As the mountain to the climber is clearer from the plain. And let there be no purpose in friendship save the deepening of the spirit. For love that seeks art but the disclosure of its own mystery is not love, but a net cast forth. And only the unprofitable is caught. And let your best be for your friend. If he must know the ebb of your tide, let him know its flood too. For what is your friend that you should seek him with hours to kill? Seek him always with hours to live. For it is his to fill your need, but not your emptiness. And in the sweetness of friendship, let there be laughter and sharing of pleasures. For in the dew of little things, the heart finds its morning and is refreshed. I hope you liked the recitation of the complete poem. Let's paraphrase. The poem starts in a normal tone where people are talking. A youth is asking the poet to talk about friendship and speak on this topic. The poet says that your friend is your needs answered. When you need something, you pray to God and those prayers are answered in the form of your best friends. He is your field which you sow with love. Dear students, the figure of speech metaphor has been used by the poet in this line. He is your field. It means the friend has been compared to a field indirectly. This type of technique is known as metaphor the poet says that your friend is a field and what do you sow in this field you sow with love and what do you reap you reap with thanksgiving so love is sown and thanksgiving is reaped in the field called a friend and he is your board and your fireside 
when you need a support your friend is your support he is your board and when you are left alone in cold times your friend is your fireside friend will give you warmth for you come to him with your hunger when you are going through the rainy days when you have less with you at that time you go to your friend and your friend will never leave you hungry and you seek him for peace during your turbulent time when your friend speaks his mind you fear not the nay or in your own mind nor do you withhold the a it means when we are talking to our friends we can say yes or no without any fear we can agree or disagree without any worry because we are sure that our friend loves us and when he is silent your heart ceases not to listen to his heart even if you or your friend are not expressing their thoughts and feelings with the help of words still you can feel each other's pleasure or pain for without words in friendship all thoughts all desires and all expectations are born and shared with joy that is unacclaimed the poet says that friendship is beyond words even if words are not there even if friends are not speaking they share all thoughts all desires and all expectations that are born in their mind and this gives an unacclaimed joy to them it gives immense joy to them when you part from your friend you grieve not or that which you love most in him may be clearer in his absence as the mountain to the climber is clearer from the plain in these three lines the poet says that if you are separated from your friend you should not grieve at all because as we have to go to the plains to see the clear picture of a mountain similarly we have to feel the absence of our friend so that we can clearly see the qualities of our friend if there is night only then the daylight can be valued so if there is separation only then the love of a friendship is valued let there be no purpose in friendship save the deepening of the spirit for love that seeks aught but the disclosure of its own mystery is not love but a net cast forth and only the unprofitable is caught in these lines the poet says that if you are befriending someone there should be no hidden motive there should be no selfishness behind if you are making friends only for your selfish motives then you are not better than a hunter as a fisherman is casting net to catch fish similarly you are casting a net and what will you get in this net only the unprofitable things and let your best be for your friend dear students the poet says that everything that serves you the best should be available to your friends it means all your blessings should be shared with your friends if he must know the ebb of your tide let him know its flood also for what is your friend that you should seek him with hours to kill seek him always with hours to live if your friends know your highs they should also know about your lows if your friend is aware about your positives they should be equally aware about your negatives if they know about your success they should also know about your failures 
because the poet says that a friendship is not measured by how many hours you spend with your friends a friendship is measured by how many hours you live with your friends through every thick and thin for it is his to fill your need but not your emptiness and in the sweetness of friendship let there be laughter and sharing of pleasures for in the dew of little things the heart finds its morning and is refreshed and in the end of the poem the poet says that your friend is not there to fill your emptiness your friend is not there because you feel lonely without a friend your friend is not there for a time pass in friendship you should share every kind of sweetness like laughter and pleasure if your friends are standing in your pain they should also be a part of your success all these little things will make your life fresh and beautiful let's quickly go through the summary of the poem now you can easily write the summary of the poem dear students summary will not be asked in the examination we are just trying to understand the poem by this summary so the entire poem revolves around the friendship and the value of friendship the poet says that a friend is a god's gift a friend is god's way of answering your needs and the poet says that we nurture a bond of friendship with love and in return we get gratitude and thanksgiving a friend has been compared to a field in which we sow with love and we reap with thanksgiving a friend is our support a friend has been compared to a board that provides strong support through every thick and thin he is like a fireside and provides us warmth during the turbulent times when we are talking to the friends we don't fear to say yes or no we don't fear either to agree or disagree with friends one does not need to proclaim one's love for a friend love is automatically understood because friends hearts are always connected to us a friend will be able to read our thoughts even if we do not express them similarly it is true for the friend if the friend is upset and they are not telling you you will immediately understand that there is something wrong we can open our heart to our friends and our friendship should be free of any kind of trickery or hidden motives so all these little things will refresh our heart like the morning dew the poet uses an excellent imagery in the poem let's quickly go through the difficult words and the meanings the first word is sow it means to plant or spread seeds in the ground reap it means to cut and collect a crop from a field in the poem it means to obtain something good as a direct result of something you have done in the poem this reap has been used for thanksgiving that we get as a reward of friendship next word is ceases it means stops happening or existing next word is ebb it means the period of time when the sea flows away from the land dew dew means the small drops of water that form on the ground etc during the night you must have seen dew on the flowers and the grass early in the morning let's go through the central idea of the poem this is the first type of question answers comprehension and enjoyment the first thing is give the central idea of the poem 
Now you have understood the complete poem. You can easily extract the central idea of this. In this simple poem, the poet highlights the virtues and advantages of having friends. A friend gives us unconditional love and support. A friend is a gift of God. He is God's way of answering our needs. We nurture a bond of friendship with love and in return we get gratitude and thanksgiving. So a friend is a board and that board supports us in all times. He gives us warmth in cold times. All our desires and feelings are shared with the friends even when they are silent. We know the real value of a true friend when we lose a friend. We should not be selfish or dishonest with our friends. Friendship should be free of designs or selfish motives. A friend will be able to read your thoughts even if you do not express. You can open your heart to your friends and you can share your joys as well as sorrows to your friends. This is what can refresh your heart like the morning dew. The poet suggests that always be true to your friend as a friend is the precious gift of God. The second type of comprehension question will be in the form of this type that is in front of you. You have to read the lines that will be given to you and you have to answer the questions on the basis of these lines. Here we get the lines, he is your field which you sow with love and reap with thanksgiving and he is your board and your fireside for you come to him with hunger and you seek him for peace. When your friend speaks his mind you fear not nay or your mind nor do you withhold the A. Dear students, the questions may be asked like all these questions first question is name the poet now you can answer it yes Khalil Zibran is the poet second question what is the most important thing that one can give to a friend yes love is the most important gift that we can give to a friend question number three when do we shower our friends with love what do we earn in return from them? We get gratitude and thanksgiving in return. How is a friend your fireside? Our friend gives us warmth and support during the turbulent times. So in all these four questions, very simple information has been asked from you and that thing is available in all the lines that have been given to you now coming to the second stanza that we have once again you have to read the lines given below and answer the questions now you should try first at your own okay for that which you love most in him may be clearer in his absence as the mountain to the climber is clearer from the plain. And let there be no purpose in friendship save the deepening of the spirit. For love the seeks aught but the disclosure of its own mystery is not love but a net cast forth and only the unprofitable is caught here the first question is a mountain appears clearer when one is on the plain at some distance away how does the poet relate this statement to understand the value of a friend so all of you know that the mountain appears clearer from a distance similarly the value of a friend is understood in his absence Second question, what should be the main purpose of friendship? Dear students, we have discussed the complete poem. The entire poem says that 
only spiritual bond should be the purpose behind your friendship no other selfish motive should be there so the main purpose of friendship should be the deepening of the spirits it refers to deepen the soul and establish stronger bond it means that we should share the spiritual values with our friends we should not run after their money or their approach to the influential people the most interesting question is list all the qualities a true friend should have according to khalil zibran you can easily extract the qualities out of the poem according to khalil zibran a true friend is a gift of god so the first quality of a friend is support that is a friend acts like a board and he provides a strong support in all times the second quality is warmth as fireside gives us warmth similarly a friend gives us warmth when we are unsuccessful or failed or in bad times when all leave us even at that time our friend is standing by us with all his warmth third quality is all desires and feelings are shared among the friends even when they are silent or even when they are not talking we know the real value of a true friend when we lose him so this is the idea given in the poem that we should not grieve even we when we are separated from the friends because it will also highlight the value of a friend in our life we should not be selfish or dishonest with our friends so this is another quality of a friend that a friend should be honest good friendship should be free of any kind of trickery selfish motives designs or any kind of profits that you want from your friend a friend will be able to read your thoughts even if you do not express them next a true friend is one with whom we can share our first option wealth and property second option fame and pleasure yes the right answer is joys and sorrows which is the third option students thank you so much for being with me